Yo, 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 this King Runner coming to you live and direct. When I think of New York, I think of John Gotti. When I think of New York, I think of Bumpy Johnson. When I think of New York, I think of good men. But I also understand that there's some dishonorable men. So when I think of New York, I really don't like to think about these guys. But I would like to ask like the, 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 the most honorable ones that's in New York to please put forth more information about individuals like Boy George. That's George Rivera. From what I'm understanding, he was like the Scarface of the whole New York wave. You know what I'm saying? The Bronx wave. He carried it like no other. But somehow in this life, in this time, we seem to miss out on missing, mentioning the dudes that have the respect and the, the mannerism of accepting what they've done wrong instead of pointing their fingers at individuals. Now, from what I hear of Boy George, he was very, very um, given. He was very honorable. He made sure that everybody, part of his community ate. Anybody that was with him, they ate. Now, when I say honorable, I don't want the people to get the positive honor mixed up with the negative honor. The positive honor is what I'm restoring because it was so corrupt, it was so trifling, it was so dirty to the point us in the urban communities, we begin to really honestly praising the wrong through honor. But what I'm coming to doing is I'm coming to restore the honor in a huge way. So individuals got to understand that when they hear King Ernest speak, you got to always remember there's two parts of honor. Now, George Rivera wound up throwing a big party one time. And when he threw that big party, that big party caused a lot of confusion and calls for the feds to get involved in a lot of things because you almost had everybody at one place at one time and the money that was being spent, they say George would give out a lot of different gifts. And they say he was a very young man. And they say he would give out so many different gifts and he would look out for so many individuals that you really had individuals you know, wanting to step up to go against him in reference to putting him in jail. So my question to the people is, when you had the guys like Boy George out, where was the outpost coming in play? How was they even able to stand next to a guy with such an honorable character? But I'm going to tell you how. Individuals like Alpo, they tend to know how to get close to good men. And they get close with good men through money because sometimes we are all blinded by money. So money can basically get anybody caught up. So what I want everybody to understand, especially youth tonight, you can't let the streets swarm you into that part of negativity to where as though you're throwing big events and you're doing big things to put you in a position of going to jail. How about throwing a big event about you retiring and hopefully when you throw that event, you make it very quiet and you keep it amongst those that you love and that you care for, that you know that love and care for you. Because at the end of the day, what can end up happening is even at your retirement party, you can have somebody in there of this honor. There's always an outpour around, but it's up to you to kind of like, you know, be able to see the outposts because they come so disguised. The feds knew that Alpo was going to be probably one of their best star witnesses by how much he was like a killer. But at the end of the day, he still was into the things of materialistic things. He still had to show off. They looked for that. They looked for the guy who loved to show off. They looked for the individual who was attached to materialistic things and attached to letting other people see what he do all the time. This go for the women also, but I want to tell the brothers that your mindset has to begin to get stronger. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can actually move on to the next step. You have to believe that you can actually take time out and really, you know, do something positive and gain the same way we gained in the streets. You know, some of us are defeated ourselves in our mentality. You know how we defeated ourselves in our mentality? We've given up on the fact that we can actually take that next step. 
we haven't really gathered the mindset to say, you know what? I can run a business. I ran a block before. I gave people work. I made sure that I collected the money. All that is a job. You're an accountant. You're a businessman. You're a salesman. You're doing a CEO position. You're doing like five or six things at one time with a whole lot of quarrelsome going on with it. With a whole lot of murder going on with it. With a whole lot of, um, how can I say it? Accepting of fools who you know from a long distance that they are no good, but because they make it run off a bundle or they make it run off a pack a little bit better, you still choose them. How about taking them individuals and putting them in a position where they can be bosses for themselves, but you're the boss overall? See, when I was in the streets, how we carried it, you know, 80s and 90s, man, we made sure that uh, everybody was the boss. You see, it wasn't this person the boss, that person the boss, this person the boss, and it's just that person. No, we all are bosses. I mean, at least that's how I felt. And just growing up, it was a little rough because a lot didn't want to participate in that. But you always had those five or six men that really stood out, that had some strength. Those five or six men can stand out in the community and help us also. Those five or six men can help about 20 or 30 elders in the summertime that don't have no heat, get heat. I mean, get they don't have no air, get air. You know how you could do that? By going knocking on their door and asking them what type of programs that they in. And you know, it's just stepping forth and I'm guaranteeing you that your positivity will grow and that more than anything, you won't have to worry about going to jail. You don't have to worry about the IRS taking your money because you know what? You're gonna be paying them their taxes. You know, that's what they rob us with. Government sticks us up without a gun, and guess what? We pay. But we won't pay the community to have good things for the young men. So we're going to have more George Rivera's. We're going to have more John Gotti's. We're going to have more individuals stepping up into a negative mindset because a lot of them don't know how to step out of that negative mindset. It's up to individuals like myself to help rebuild what we destroyed. But you can't just re, you know, rebuild on camera or if it's big events, you know, jumping off, making sure you get the picture and you're out. What happens is the youth begin to see that. And they look at it and say, you know what? All the old heads is pump faking. All they want to do is show up to the events, take a few pictures with the mayors and the, the individuals that they feel as though they can get out with and um, they're going to step off and they're not going to even think about them again. That's what the young is going to think. They're going to think that we're, we don't care. So to avoid us having individuals that got a good mindset, got a good, you know, sturdy foundation, a platform to do something so negative, but we won't help them do it positive, we're going to fall. We're going to fail. The reason why we're going to fall and we're going to fail is because at the end of the day, we need that positivity. If we don't have that positivity, I'm afraid that sooner or later, we are going to be locked up somewhere and they're going to change it around. It's not going to be prison. It's going to be slavery. And we're going to wake up one day, everybody, the women, the children, everybody with the big educations. And we're going to realize that we allowed each other to get put in that position by always thinking and channeling ourselves into one direction. Stop mentioning the outposts. Start mentioning more to George Rivera's. Let's get in contact with these George Rivera's. Let's get in contact with these big meeches instead of us getting in contact with these individuals to put them in rap songs. Let's get in contact with them to help build the community. Now, many will say, who's to say that any of the OGs that's doing out here, that's telling the youth to do the right thing, are Ivana. No one knows, but it's up for the parents to keep that trust. It's up for us to keep that trust. If we don't keep that trust, what ends up happening is we lose because that recycled crime comes back in play because the government is going to get them another Alpo. And then that Alpo is going to bring down that George Guevara. The R Rivera. He's going to bring him down. The reason why he's going to bring him down because you can't mention Alpo and George Rivera really in the same sentence. When you do that, you... Throw off everything, and what ends up happening is 
a lot of individuals begin to put them on the same pedestal. Alpo's a rat. He's, he's a witness protection program. George Rivera's in a can. And he's not in the hole. He's in population moving around and, you know, making sure that he spread the word of honor. But I'm pretty sure if he was to hear about this video, I'm pretty sure somebody from his family was to get in contact with him and let him know that it's an individual that was, you know, had the same mindset as he had at one time. You know, of course not, didn't get as much paper as he did. But at the end of the day, my mindset was broad like that and my strength was at that high. My strength was at that level where I was respected in the hood off my own name, you see? And it's a difference when you have that strength because I don't care where you're from, it's still you having strength over men who are supposed to have the same strength as you. I'm King Runner from the Island of Your Life campaign. Let's channel that strength in something positive. Let's channel that strength in helping these young men not get caught up because I'm pretty sure that George Rivera was an honorable type of individual, but I'm pretty sure that they put out a bad word and all the giving and things that he have done, it began to be rejected by individuals who all of a sudden waited till he go to jail to talk bad or talk negative or just to turn their back on him. And that's what happens, youngins. You can do whatever you want. You can get as much money as you want. And what ends up happening is when you go to jail, your friends and those that you thought stuck by you, they turn their back on you. George Rivera was a man of honor when it came down to negativity. George Rivera needs to be the one giving out the message. Because he's not here, it's brothers like me who's standing in his place. And guess what? I'm pretty sure that man will come forth and tell these youngins it's not all what it's cracked up to be, even though we don't know if he's guilty or not guilty. So I'm pretty sure when he does step forward, it'll be something of the nature of him allowing you guys to know, don't even play in the streets, period. Get a job, build a big organization like he did in a positive manner, though, and help one another. I'm King Erna. Stay focused. It's all about this, mind conditioning. When you don't hear from me, that's what I'm doing, mind conditioning. King Erna, live and direct.